Captain's log, start date 192.168.1.5. Yes, my memory serves me well. We have been on this world for so long now. The ravel, uh, the strands of reality start to separate in my head, and I'm not sure where time is anymore. Thankfully, I have my scientific officer, ZTech, here to help me through. Hello, how are you doing? Captain, I did offer you a watch, but you said you don't need one. Time is for fools that have no plans. So, anyway, we need to, uh, to, to try and get a few things done today. Uh, we, we spent a little bit of time last time making sure we had radar hookup all over the place. We managed to get the entire base done, as uh, illustrated by this highlighted square on my map. But we didn't get very far outside the base. But that's fine, because we are stay-at-home people, right? Maybe? So, well, <laughs> yes, I mean... I know that before the ship crashed, I, I think I maybe walked a mile a week before then, and 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 now, like from from my captain's quarters to the to the the hover lift, yeah, well, turbo lift is the word I was looking for there. From the captain's quarters to the turbo lift, and then to my my bridge. I mean, that's a twenty yard walk that I made every day. It's amazing you weren't using a point to point teleportation, sir. Oh, uh, I I fear it breeds a lazy mind, you know. Mm. Uh, it's what what once you let once you let your standards slip, uh, and start just teleporting everywhere. I mean that that's when that's when your life really starts going downhill. I hear. What do you think about teleportation, actually? The teleportation, the devil's device that kills people and makes homunculi on the other side. It, it is it is nasty now you will never catch me in one of those things unless in extreme circumstances i have died about three times already now so it, it's a little <laughs> bit little bit awkward i know i'm not the original i know i'm not but uh yeah can you it, prove it um no i cannot prove it but my brother said that i came out a completely different person my brother of course um lieutenant major thatchy <laughs> That's no. an interesting name. That that wasn't interesting. Um, my mother not very not very um, inventive with names. Uh, she she kind of stuck stuck with the same plan. Uh, and it, it worked okay. out well for her. All she had to do was kind of like scream syllables out of the window. It was like rah, 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 come on in for dinner, and we all just came running. <laughs> so <laughs> interesting. It, it was a very interesting way to grow up. That it prepared us, though, for the rigors of command school, where nobody knew your name uh, and just assumed that you knew what you were doing. Um, which, thankfully, I obviously did, as you can tell by the way that I graduated with flying colours. I assume. Oh, obviously. <laughs> I mean, why would I not be the most highly decorated officer, being in charge of your <laughs> your uh, crew? I suppose. <laughs> I definitely feel like we need to also make some lamps. Do we you don't... really think we need to automate lamp production? Sort of. Sort, <laughs> sort of. of. I, get, I keep making loads. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the thing is, they only need... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, the, the most awkward thing is the fact that they need uh, these iron sticks. It's like producing iron gears, so I don't think it's going to be that hard. So do we so literally just want to use... <laughs> the the, the the alpha plan for the factories where we've got yes. iron on one side <laughs> gears in the middle well, apart from this time it'll be iron sticks and then this input over here exactly the I same mean, do we want to like build it off of one of these ones or do we want to make it its own sanitized unit i would just uh, keep it separate keep it I separate mean, okay let's do that let's i mean there that. is no reason why not there, there is indeed no reason why not let's uh, one of the mistakes i always make um, when setting up my own factory is that I do not leave enough room. Um, I quite often cram everything in far too tight. Uh, that's uh, that's why we have basically infinite way of infinite possibilities of expanding. Yes. Uh, it, uh, it was the one thing they told me to do in Captain School. Trust your science officer. They know how to get things done. You just give them the orders to make it happen. And so far uh, that's, that's worked out quite well for me. Uh, I, I do me. see one potential future problem. <laughs> I, I see many, but two, please, fill me in. This belt, according to the computer, it can only transport 33 items per second. Wow, okay, yes. I, I, uh, you're the man with the numbers, I'll believe that. <laughs> uh, well, there's a limited amount of machines that we can put on this single belt that will be constantly, being, constantly supplied by them. This At is the end, true. like a river, it will just dry up. Mm, 
Yes, I, I do see the problem. I do see the problem now. I do have a solution for it. I'll do a, an underground aquifer of iron plates, just like the old people <laughs> used to do. Well, I was thinking that at the beginning, we just move everything up and use the same belt for what which we're now using for copper, but for iron. Okay, at the beginning, you say? Well, where we introduce copper, we just stop it, move it to the next line, and everything just cascades one up. Wow, I, yeah, I, I can see that being very useful, but it does also strike me as a, a long job, but let's do it. If we if we don't do it now, we'll never get it done. <laughs> we are trying to do, we are being sidetracked a lot. That's not, not, that, that's, it's, it's, it's the way of things, it is the way of things. Talking of sidetracked, research needs to come in. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at, oh, we're, we're still looking for just the, the red ones, right? So shotgun shell damage, despite the fact that I don't think either of us are using shotguns. No. Uh, I might, I might just build a shotgun. Why not? It needs wood, that's why not. Okay, shotguns away, nice. Any interesting news? Any interesting news? So I've heard that a, uh, a black hole has recently passed through the ancient Alpha Centauri system, uh, upsetting the the colony there. That that was that was quite a horrific day. My sister lived there. Um, I was I was worried, but thankfully she was off uh, visiting. There's a Beta Centauri, right? Alpha, Beta, Proxima, yeah, Alpha, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, like you would have thought they would have gone to Gamma. I, I believe that's the C of the the. Um, Greek alphabet. Someone will tell me that I'm wrong there. Um, Probably the imaginary viewers that you have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> imaginary? I have I have loads of viewers. What? <laughs> um, I, I hope so, you do. <laughs> I do, I do. I, I am... Can you not tell by the, 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 the baying crowds around us that I am a very popular man? Very popular man. Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri were, uh, were found really quickly because they were like a double star. Um, and then Proxima was found ages ago, and they decided to call it Close One because it was the closest star. But like, honestly, f stick with the naming system. What's wrong with you? <laughs> scientists? Scientists those days really didn't know what they were on about. I really well, didn't know. I wouldn't say that they didn't know what they're doing, but yeah, okay. Bah! They believed in the in the limiting factor of the speed of light. What what fools? What fools? Well, they. I mean. Humanity didn't know it can go faster than sound, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I hear that one a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I right. wouldn't put it past them that they literally didn't know. I mean, humanity has constantly been able to prove it's not correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if there's one thing that humanity is good at, it's finding out why it's wrong. I would also say that uh, it's somewhat stubborn at moments trying to prove its predecessors that no you're wrong and i'll prove you that you're wrong well this is it yeah i i hear science science advance one one death at a time uh where, when the professor dies and takes the uh, the dogma with him his students get to change stuff <laughs> you know yeah i can see that happening Okay, beautiful numbers of, of lamps being made here. I'm going to take these so that I can make this world a wonderfully bright place. I um, I have spotted a possible problem with your shunt everything up one um, yes. plan. The fact that, uh, for instance, where, where does copper break off here? Well, things like this one. This is suddenly going to be uh, tracks rather than... Yes. So that's why we move. I know it's gonna be a lot of job. It's gonna be a long job. Okay, all right. That, that's as long as we're aware of how long a job it's gonna be. So, do we want to do the change now? Um, I don't think yet because uh, so as long as the blue belt can keep up with it, and if my math is correct, let me just check. <laughs> Consult the spreadsheet. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it, to be honest, if we get to a point that the blue belt gonna be enough yeah i think blue belt i mean do we even have access to red belts right now no uh, no it's like where is it it's here somewhere yes, Advanced. logistics 2 there it is i've spotted it so red can transport 26.67 items per second which is that's... more than the original that's nice that's that's more than oh it's not quite double is it yeah no no, no. It's, it's double yeah it's 13.63 uh, i think 
Yeah, yeah, so that's that's double. Nice. And then we have the blue belt, which should be logistics number three, I'm guessing. I would guess. Let's see if we can find it. What does logistics look like? It looks like the train with some arms next to it. Uh, logistics three I could gives us the blue stuff. belt, which is 40 items per second. 40? Wow. There it is. Yes. But that's, that's way up as well. We need to be making all the different science packs by that point. Yeah, but... If we're already doing that, we're probably gonna have robots, and we're just gonna ex yeah. outsource the pro job to the robots instead of the belts, and belts will go out of a job. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're <laughs> always like I don't think they're gonna completely run out of a job, but yeah. <laughs> the only people here that will constantly have a job is the inserters, even though yellows, yellow ones are being replaced by the blue ones. <laughs> Slowly, bit by bit, it's a uh, it's a very a very function function driven society here the faster faster you can do it the better you are the better you are isn't that kind of fascist <laughs> uh, fa fascist maybe maybe i would like to call it efficient mm. <laughs> isn't that just a different word for the same thing okay. yeah well um, i mean that we we can argue definitions all day if we want. I mean, <laughs> yes, we could. We're I not gonna. I, I believe we do most times anyway. We 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 are indeed building green science. I need mojitos to go and uh, woo the local populace over with. Uh, I I cannot start a diplomatic mission if I don't have alcohol to offer to the local dignitaries. It would just be rude. It's finally a different recipe. Finally, um, we've got a different recipe. Mojito production underway. So with the power of the green alcohol, we are going to hopefully be able to get some more science down. I say hopefully. Yeah. Wow, this is quite the distance as well. Okay, there we go. It comes down in this way. Do they put out the right side of the belt? Yes. Yes, yes they do. Wonderful. So, talking of research, I believe we have some ready to go. Uh, what was it we were trying to do? It was the advanced smelting. I, th I think we can get that done. Let's go research. Okay, I would suggest next thing is lab research, uh, lab research speed uh, one. Oh yeah, Increasing very much. Increasing the speed of the research, which will increase well, the whole the process. Faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, I definitely feel the priority. We should make that our number one priority after this number one priority. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't put everything on priority ten, please. A everything priority one. <laughs> Um, should we just increase this? Yeah, I don't I see why not. I think we have the materials. We do. I, I, I see a little bit of a problem. We're going to eventually either run into this lake or have to fill it in. Uh, the lake can be filled in. I mean, we have the technology to research, though. We have the technology to research. We don't quite have the technology to do so yet, but we are very close to doing it. All right, what am I missing to turn these into normal inserters? Plates. All the plates. I say normal inserters, fast and slow. Are you saying that they're not normal? I, I think these ones are normal. I'm going to call the other ones slow inserters from now on. Why are they slow? <laughs> Didn't you make them like that? <laughs> yeah, they, they were built that way. Unfortunately, I'm not good enough. 24 green per minute. 24 green per minute. Wow. I think. We, we may have just increased that because I threw in a load of power on these bottom ones. I do have a readout on the minute. We're getting about 40, 40 a minute. Uh, that means we can basically make the more labs and put them down. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get some more labs. How do we make a lab? Logistics, there we go. Uh, 36 iron, 15 copper. Or oh, it's iron gears, electronic circuits, and transport belts. Nice. And this always happens. Our power problem. We have power problems. This was kind of expected. Yes. Now, should we go completely overboard and just place power as much as we can? Yeah, yeah, I think we should. I think we should just go and put a whole load down. We're actually not producing enough coal. Okay, hmm. we can definitely deal with this. Oh, this is running around simulator. This really is running simulator. Uh, go, go back and forth quite a lot. Yeah, okay, cool. powerful. Nice, extra coal. 
will be needed. I mean, it will be needed. Oh, 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 flash of power problems. Yeah, it's dying. It's definitely dying. Not we, enough coal. We are right on the edge. We do have a problem of our coal supply is reliant on our power supply to power the power supply. Yeah, yeah, I, I see the little feedback loop that could go horrifically wrong here. Thankfully, there is coal coming along this power line. Oh. No, I just cut off the rest of the factory so we can actually stop well on coal. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Sounds For like the a meantime. Plan. We should uh, I mean, probably think about moving these two end ones in a second and expanding the coal, expanding the coal field. Yes. By any chance, do you have any miners? No. Yes. No, I am. I, I do not. The noise of progress. <laughs> progress comes to those who wait, and so I'm told. But I think we have complete coverage on the coal now. It's not quite complete. We've got this little strip down the edge here that may or may not get. get um, dug up what is this yeah. oh it's also a coal bit that's fine that's fine and there we go everything should be rolling a lot better now we could definitely do with a bit of bigger cold field at some point but we will need to expand quickly though uh according to the map it only has 265 one 261 thousand units of coal on it thankfully just above our little radar zone here, we've got coal worth a million units. Um, yes. There's also some more just off to the left. I'm also having a look at these three bodies of water. The one to the top left, top right, and then far right. I reckon we could throw a, a wall across yes, all definitely. these things. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good idea. Where is our stone production? Let's go and have a look. Oh, it's not making anything. <laughs> I think we mined the coal. Uh, we're still not producing enough uh, power. Are we still not producing power? Okay, we need to no. make the boilers. Uh, not the boilers, the other one. Uh, boilers and, uh, and steam engines. engines. So we talked about um, why humans should not, I mean, should or should not make designer babies. We talked about the ability of humanity to create meat out of plants. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the ethics of meat. Yeah, and in that single situation, would vegans not have a right to exist anymore? Oh, I mean, like, vegans can definitely say they exist. <laughs> well, but they can, but should they? I think, I think the whole landscape of veganism would change significantly if meat was grown on a tree. Uh, the, 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 the considerations would be pretty slim. I I think the the major the major reasons that most vegans decide to go down that route is either for the care of the animal or the impact on the planet. They're, they're those two two big ones there. I'm, I'm generalizing, obviously. Every vegan is their own wonderful person with a multitude of reasons for why they do stuff. But that that's why I think, and that's what I've heard from most, shall we say? Sorry, um, and. If, if lab-grown meat was suddenly a thing, or tree-grown meat was suddenly a thing, I don't, I don't know how they would feel about it. Maybe it's time for a survey. I'm sure there are many vegans out there watching. <laughs> uh, if if you would uh, you know, give us your input on the whole lab-grown meat, I, I think it would be very interesting to know. Uh, very interesting to the know. The other question is, well, will that open a market for... You know, natural meat. Oh, blatant. Yeah, yeah. No, there's, there's no way that wouldn't become a thing. You would probably end up organic being... meat. Sorry, organic meat. Well, That's yeah, the, the word I mean. <laughs> yeah, there would be organic meat, but also like natural meat. So you would have the, um, you know, the reprocessed food that people like you and me would eat. You know, we, we've recycled these nutrients from somewhere. We're just going to say from somewhere, and. Um, <laughs> grown it into food using lab meat techniques but the people with money would be chowing down on a fil fillet steak you know fillet steak I, I, I'm almost certain of that cruelty almost always costs money and the people with the money are willing to spend it on that how do you see change in politics I, I, I always feel that the best political system that we could possibly come up with even right now 
uh, would be almost almost AI controlled. What you would have is you would have people, you would have the, like the politicians today, uh, they submit their bill or law or whatever it is they want to happen to the system and then the system would contact each of the citizenry um, via their preferred contact method whether it's their mobile phone or their communication device, their retina implants, their transcranial um, magnetic stimulation i don't know wh whatever their favorite form of of talking to the system is uh and then you're asked to vote uh and, and you yeah, know i could i could lead this i could see this being like every five days uh, i could see this being every day you wake up and see what's new to vote for okay okay but wouldn't you say that the ai over time will make your own profile and decide for you before even submitting the question to you. Oh man, that 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 sounds like the ultimate form of representation. Yeah, that's that's amazing. I am down with that. Um, so it basically just well, I know that this person will not vote for this, so I'm just not gonna vote for. It. Yeah, and then I mean, we have a, an AI that's gonna be voting against itself for loss. <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's fine, that's fine. As long as there's, like, a calibration day. It, it'll be a national holiday, right? Um, calibration no, day. Where... At, at any moment that you can delete your profile and start... I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I would... I think socially, not like legally, socially we should have Calibration Day as a holiday. Something okay. that we all get together and do as a group where you, you go go to the AI and go, I would like to see my voting history, please. And you go through and correct the ones that are wrong or, or just put ticks next to all the others so the AI can build a better better model of yeah, you. But, okay, so but uh, the problem with the, the, the way that you phrase, uh, I mean, as a holiday... Yeah. As a holiday in human history, it's something to come together. Yeah. I don't think revealing your preferences and politics standing to your close ones is something that you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sometimes and sometimes not. I, 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 I feel mean, could like... you imagine if, uh, I mean, the, your loved one is found out that you're against abortions? I've got a feeling my loved one would know that anyway. Yeah, uh, but I mean, if you didn't tell it, but the AI assumed that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got so, you've got some stories to tell. Well, like honestly, <laughs> I think one of the greatest greatest problem causes in the world is people not telling each other how they feel. Mm, yes. And, <laughs> and it might very well cause a short term problem if your preferences get exposed to your loved ones but i think that i think the 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 duration and the impact of that problem would be minuscule compared to you continuing to and i'm going to use a very provocative word here lie to your loved ones about your views to be honest it doesn't even need to be lying it might never come up in conversation yeah yeah well i mean being deceitful i don't know it's hmm. Avoiding the subject. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 I have some some friends uh, <laughs> out there who in the who, academy. Yeah, who who use the well, I didn't lie excuse all the time, <laughs> and I'm like, fair enough, you didn't lie, but you were very deceitful. Um, mm. and, and that that you always presenting all of the information. Yeah, yeah, uh, and they uh, always just kind of shut up at that because I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know what. <laughs> 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 uh, the research has been completed, by the way, and uh, we can now make the better furnaces, but we need steel production first. Well, that sounds like we need to get on with steel production. I mean, I'm almost tempted to say we, we bring this off in the other direction, make a bunch of steel, and then put it back onto the, mm. uh, to the belt, either top or bottom. Uh, we can do that. Unless uh, you have a better plan. I, I, I'm just throwing plans out as I as I do to see what sticks. <laughs> so. By any chance, do you have any furnaces? Oh, I have twenty three on me. I, I do. And then, I yeah. have an idea. And oh, we but need we to do need how coal. We get the coal. Yeah. Oh man, that filter! That filter is wow. amazing. So I feel like we need to do something up the top here to stop the coal disappearing. I'll just kind of cut it. bit more power 
Easy there. <laughs> Better power poles. Better power pole, yes. Uh, and, or, and automate those power poles as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they only need steel, I guess, and copper wiring. Okay, the coal definitely. is still turning over pretty well. The iron is still turning over pretty well. We've made steel production. Pipe inserters go there and there. All right, and then they just kind of pass to each other. That's much better. There are a few places where things don't line up, so one of the furnaces, one of the steel furnaces, like, don't get past any iron. Um, I, it's fine. Uh, oh, for yeah, now, I... it's a solution for now. <laughs> I know you say that, but I'm going to go around and fix it anyway. <laughs> hey, that's a classic track. Or is it one minute? Uh, no, two minutes thirty-five, something like. That. I can't remember the name of the track, but it's just—it's <laughs> just, just a bunch of side. He just writes down the time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's good enough. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it does. It does. It, it's a beautiful statement on the uh, the state of the music industry that that it would be accepted as a as a track. There's a state of music industry. <laughs> there is a state of music industry. Uh, back uh, back in the uh, 2100s, they succeeded from the United States. Uh, they're, they're located in the in the central central belt there. Um, uh, they were they they were fed up of their music not being taken taken seriously. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna make our own state. It's gonna be state of the music industry. And they mm. declared state themselves. of the music industry. Yes. interesting. Ancient history is full of interesting tidbits like that. I thought it was full with aliens. Uh, there are many aliens in ancient history as well. <laughs> it has to be said. Now back to the to well, back to the story before, where we talked about so we modifying aliens and uh, making a new species. Oh. Ancient history does go a lot with. Uh, can we prove that we haven't been visited by ancient aliens and uh, that they made us? We cannot prove it, but we can show the lack of evidence for so. Now, obviously, the absence of evidence is not the evidence <laughs> of absence. Okay, that's that's yes. that that is a thing. But they 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 would leave bigger traces. The the jumps would be more pronounced. People like to point to the ancient Egyptians and how big a jump they were. And let's let's be let's be fair. They were the first to be building anything of that scale by thousands of years, thousands and thousands of years. So there was a jump there, but one that we can trace the uh, societal evolution of. You know, yeah, but we also did stop making such big objects. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what one of the funny things. Like, were you aware that the Greeks had steam engines? Uh, well, yeah, the well, it had uh, sort of, a, yeah, sort of steam engine. It didn't really power anything. It was. But if you take that and you also combine it with the magnetite chariots that they used to uh, float float chariots down the uh, the central aisle of their temples stick a steam engine on the back of that uh, and, and like you could you could have a, a, a potentially powerful thing uh, but we just well, yeah. forgot all about it because no one cared at the time um, well, because like other the things got archaeological more. find of the first let's just say mechanical computer yes uh, the, used the, for calculating position of stars and time. Yeah, the anti-Kithera device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, I don't think we still know how it actually functioned completely, but yeah. No, but uh, there is <coughs> small little side, side tangent. There's actually yeah. a person on YouTube right now rebuilding it. Um, mm. He calls himself Clock Spring. He, he makes a lot of stuff out of brass. He's a, an Australian guy. Um, and he, yeah, he's obviously trying to challenge himself to build it in the style. Um, so he's he's using like resin to hold stuff down and he's making his own tools out of like self smelted iron and stuff. It's really cool what he's doing. It's really cool. To be honest, it's really challenging as well because he doesn't really have the blueprints for it. No, he no. Just... He... He's got a cat scan. <laughs> <He's> yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. There's parts missing, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, but with what it's measuring is very obvious, and once you've figured out the the way the main gears work, you can sort of infer how the little ones, like how many teeth you would need, because mm -hmm. planets orbit at a set rate, sort of ish, yeah, approximately. But, so, so the analog that I heard was that. It 
exactly like a mobile phone for us, what was that for them? That's yeah. Every, a lot of people had those for basically like a clock or just, you know, a multi-tool. Knowing where you are in the year. I mean, that that yeah. is unbelievably useful. You know, you wake up one day and it's raining and it feels cold and horrible. Are you actually in autumn or is it just a bad week? I mean, y yeah. you need to know. You need to know. And then you just stop and think about it and then just ask, what will the future archaeologists find our devices to be? Oh, Are wow. you going to figure it out? Could you imagine? Like, they'll, they'll have a look at our phone. They'll go, oh, look at this primitive thing. No, 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 no. They <laughs> just look at it, and why were they carrying, you know, broken glass tablets? Yeah, yeah, and they won't... With scratches on it, is this their language? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the scratches on the surface, <laughs> like, oh, obviously... Oh, these are the laws that they were writing down before. Yeah, yeah, look, look, you can see this repeating pattern that appears on many of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's probably their, uh, the most popular literature that they had at the time. Yeah, of course, of <laughs> course. <laughs> I mean, can you not say that that's not a possibility? Come that on. that is a possibility. It does have to be said, but yeah. It's sad, but it's true. I mean, I don't know. Uh, there is also the project in Finland about where they are storing radioactive waste. Okay, yeah. And they are also trying to make their terraforming the surrounding. To be scary and ominous. Oh yes, I've heard about this. Yeah, so they want like lots of like um, sharp and pointy rocks everywhere, and that yeah, they're just trying to make it feel as bad as possible, so that people's many thousands of years in the future don't feel welcome there. I, I think yes. it's a really good idea. Um, the other one that I heard of was um, having Making cats glowing. Yeah, glowing cats and telling folk stories of them. So if the cats glow, you stay away because it's going to cause you cause you trouble. Okay, so I have two problems: one with the cats and one with the area. Have you ever have you not ever watched a movie about children going into a mine? Yes, yeah, yeah, I, and I've seen people getting like stupidly close to volcano vents and yes. you know things where you know they shouldn't go there, <laughs> but they do it's anyway. It's an abandoned mine with no safety. There are two kids going into it. One of them is gonna die. Yeah, There's no question about it. Yeah, no, I agree. It's not I agree. So deadly because the one contains nuclear fuel, the other contains a lot of gravity <laughs> falling to its death. Yep, yep. A second thing is. I'm sorry, I'm in the future, I have a glowing cat, isn't that awesome? Isn't it great? My cat started glowing, obviously this place is amazing. But th yes. that, that's why they wanted to get the folk stories and the uh, the songs and stuff going around in our culture as well. Which unfortunately they have failed at, because I don't know about you, I don't know any glowing cat songs. Yeah, um, and I think we need at least more and more Rosetta Stones. Yes, oh we need... yeah, we, we need... Write it down in every language we have. Don't care if it's already dead. Just write it down just in that language. Write it down in as many, yeah, as many languages in a deeper groove on a bit of rock as possible, or um, make it out of gold. Make it out of gold. I saw people um, experimenting with giant nickel discs that they start writing like normally on, but then each letter gets a little bit smaller until eventually you need a microscope to read it all. Um, uh, and it, you know we're talking this is like a two two meter disc you know it, it, it's huge so you could fit a whole bunch of material mm. of uh, words on there something's gone wrong here do you see a problem <laughs> i do see a problem here how do we fix this i'm not sh i think i know uh yeah i do i do i do you got do. you got this is it just coal on the other side and then we let this one go okay and oh no 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 it's a good start <laughs> No, again, no. <laughs> nah, no, this is not. No, nope, it's here. So we're back at where we started. We are. Splitter here, again with the same combination. But this splitter will just carry coal to that location. Oh, what, over here? Okay. So you want an underground? I have it. You yeah. got it. Well, you have belts. I do. I put them down the wrong way. Yeah, as as all good captains Filter. should. 
I, I don't want to put this next one in because it's going to make coal spew all the way up there. So this is correct. This is how it should be working. Okay. So. Now we need coal on this side. Okay, it's tasty. Okay, back to the stone. <laughs> I think this video is going, going more in video. I mean, Cory? Oh. <laughs> Back yourself into a corner there, sir. <laughs> I did. I completely did. I think I'm now appreciating that your madness is spreading. It, it, is, it is. I'm highly contagious, it has been said. Science is being done. We can basically do nothing. So I think with all of this done getting the landfill working having a bunch of steel on the go uh we got ourselves what what did we get down here well we did a whole load of stuff today but mainly we talked about the ethics of so many things so many things <laughs> no. I, I think it's time to say captain's log signing off <laughs> yeah.